All right. Uh, this is uh, the um, uh, the new update for the Shield TV, uh, that, which includes gameplay capture that works with the audio. The internal audio works. Um, so now I don't have to worry about being or recording with a capture card and all that. But the only problem is, of course, sharing the gameplays and everything. Uh, I don't know a way to do that unless, you know, I use like a browser or something, which I sideloaded, uh, or whatever. There's no like upload feature on YouTube, on the YouTube TV app. And, uh, there's no like video editor. So you'd have to probably sideload one and use it in a, uh, uncomfortable or odd way that's not controller friendly, or you'd have to drag it onto your desktop by pulling the SD card out because it records the gameplay to the SD card and you can't copy it, by the way, to the internal memory. The SD card uh, copying to back and forth does not work. Uh, Google implemented a feature, which is not here, that allows you to delete your stuff in a file browser off the external uh, memory card and move it back and forth without have, having to have root access. Um, however, first of all, I'm not rooted. Second of all, uh, that feature is not here. And uh, they said they were going to add it, uh, but it never came with this update, so I don't know. But uh, what did come was, I believe it's MPEG-2 support. I don't really watch TV, so, you know, that's not a something I'm really up on, uh, but it's some type of support for a codec. Uh, so this is uh, Moopin64. This is uh, one of my favorite, if not, well, it is my favorite uh, N64 game, uh, Star Wars Episode One Racer. Um, so yeah. Oh, uh, they also said that they fixed an issue, I guess, or improved on moving apps to the SD card, uh, which is supposed to be available for every single app, but it still leaves data on the internal memory, which is what it did before. And, and the, only, the only way to work around with some of the applications like Portal and stuff, you can download the app. There's a feature that automatically moves your uh, data, or not your data, it moves the app to the SD card after you download it. But if the, the app downloads data in, you know, when you open up the application, it will download it to the internal memory. And uh, then it, leave it, it leaves it there. So the only way to get it off the internal memory <laughs> is by moving the app, going into the settings for the app, going into app settings, bleh, and moving the app back to the internal memory, and then uh, moving it back to the external memory, because then it will move the ob file. But some apps, that doesn't work, because it downloads different data to the internal memory that, does, that can't be moved at this moment in time. So, yeah, it's a little rough, but, yeah. It is possible to get, you know, if you know which apps move straight to the SD card, you can download those ones first and wait on opening your apps that you know, we'll put that data on your internal memory, so this way it'll keep that space free, and you uh, can download as many of the other apps, blah, 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 I can't even say that in a way that is coherent, oh, Jesus, I haven't played with, on this course in, I don't know, over a year, it's a new record. but, yeah, just wait on the apps that download data in the application or something so that you can get your other apps to move first so you can install more apps or something.
trying to make sense out of that, but it's not easy for me. Okay, so yeah. Finally get to use the gameplay feature. Then I can actually stream some gameplay onto uh, Twitch. Uh, I'm not... I hope that when uh, YouTube decides to do their stream... Fuck. <laughs> do their streaming feature that they will somehow uh, uh, allow that. Or add it to their, uh, their streaming thing. I don't know that they will. But I hope they do add it because... It seems like it's going to be a big thing, and that would be a lot better for me to be able to stream onto YouTube than Twitch, because I, you know, nobody watches me on Twitch. <laughs> Not really many people, and, you know, I don't feel like, I honestly just don't feel like gaining a following, because I don't think I would stream that much, and it would be stupid. So, but it would be cool as an extra thing to have on my channel. You know, every now and then I'll stream something, and then I'll put up videos, you know. Fuck. And I'm still in first place. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Shut up, Anakin, you asshole. So anyways, uh, what else? I'm trying to think of other features that were included in this update. I don't think all the features seem to work right uh, that they added, but some do. Uh, they also added some... Uh, some Netflix stuff, like some improvements for streaming uh, video and stuff like that. Game stream improvements, I believe, were added. Um, and you'll have to update your uh, GeForce experience after uh, updating, uh, taking the over the air. I don't think I'm actually going to be. Uh, rooting this device because there's absolutely nothing I can think of oh I made it uh, that I want from root access and it seems like that will just rooting will all it will do for me right now is uh, take away my ability to have a very easy uh, over-the-air update <laughs> so I'll, I'll have to wait for people to release flashable zip files to update and that seems like all it'll accomplish because everything I use root access for seems to be available on this device for the most part. Or is coming. Uh, coming. Uh. But seriously. <laughs> um, yeah, like moving apps, SD cards. I basically have every app I want right now for the time being. But I guess there's also the other those other things, those AAA titles they're saying they're going to release, and it looks like it's more, yeah, it's more likely to happen than than in last than the last times, but, you know, I think I could make space on the, uh, on the SD card, and then Android M is coming out, that will allow you to use USB storage, so, yeah, so there's that. There's already gameplay recording, and even if there wasn't, Lollipop supports it without ugh, without root access, just no internal audio. But this has, you know, everything. It has uh, gameplay court recordings, streaming with internal audio and everything like that. So I don't need that. I don't need folder mount, apparently. Um, hmm. And a lot of people like to use exposed framework. I do every now and then, but it's really not me. I don't need it, um, and a lot of times I don't use it. Um, it's almost like eh, it's fun, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to think of a reason that I could possibly need uh, root access right now. Oh, jeez, I didn't see that, and I can't think of one reason as to why that would be necessary for me. Uh, I have plenty of space, free. Plus, I don't have to share my uh, SD card with apps and, like, ROMs for, for emulators. 
because I have the USB thumb drive and it's very convenient as opposed to like a tablet uh, you know having an OTG cable hanging out of your device with uh, with a, a USB thumb drive or a hard drive hanging out of it it's not very convenient for a tablet I fucked up <laughs> but uh, if you have um, something like this like a console leaving it there especially if it has full USB ports uh, leaving it there with just a, a thumb drive in it is perfectly fine. It doesn't get in the way, and it just sits there, so it's it's great. So you get the SD card that I can install apps onto, and then I can dedicate USB storage to ROMs and whatever else I may want. So there's plenty of storage available uh, on this device. I keep missing. I keep forgetting. Yeah. I'm blind. That's all. Um, this place is really, really good. Uh, there was some, I'm trying to say, there was some, I thought there were some issues some people were having with it. Oh yeah, there were some bigger issues that people were having with, uh, surround sound. Um, I don't think it was very clear as to what type of surround sound this thing supported. Um, but so a lot of people had, oh, Jesus Christ, a lot of people had these, I guess it's considered outdated, uh, sound, surround sound systems, and they couldn't use surround sound with it, so I don't know. Uh, I have a sound bar, and yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm winning this race. Keep fucking up. Well, I think I'm fucked. Oh no, no, this is not the last lap. What are we on? Here? Okay, this is the last lap. Get the fuck out of my way before I rip your heart out. Oh, no, no, no. Smash again. So now, this was upgrading from my Uyo, which I stopped kind of using because. It was so outdated that it couldn't handle emulators the way I wanted them to. It to. Couldn't really, you know, you weren't running N64, you know, full with the full resolution, the native resolution. Um, the nightlies would work at the lowest possible resolution you could use, basically, but you know, I didn't want that. I'd rather plug the tablet into the TV and deal with that. Ah, fucking son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm losing. I'm losing this race. Not happening. Not winning this. Um, so yeah. Really wish they would have a video editor for this. Uh, if you do gameplay videos and stuff like that on, 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 the, on the device, there's no way to edit your videos. There's not even a way to, to like, yeah, I fucked up. Fuck you. Anyways, um, so yeah, there's no like way to, to edit videos. There's no way to upload videos to YouTube, unless apparently, I guess you can sideload a browser that would support it. But other than that, um, this is the, um, the update, and gameplay capture seems to be working properly. So that's cool, and uh, yeah, there are some needed things. Uh, need to be able to delete stuff from the SD card, such as this video right here, which is going to be fairly long. And I'll have to actually take the SD card over to my PC to delete the video file, because there's no built-in, um, even though Lollipop supports it, the workaround is not supported in, on this device, so they have to work on that and get that working because recording a really long video and then having to take the SD card out of the back and bringing it over to the PC to delete it is annoying. So other than that, um, there's other things. I'll, I'll link to the change log and so you can see everything because I don't know everything. And uh, that's that. So thank you for watching.